Hello third grade artist! We're going to start this new project which is going to consist of a selfie made out of a Lego person. So we're going to take our own personality, our own clothing, our own hairstyles and we're going to place them on a Lego person's drawing as our Lego person selfie or self portrait. So the items you're going to need for this project are a pencil, a sharpie, and we're going to be using crayons or markers to color in our Lego person. You can also think about the type of background that you want. I'm going to be using a watercolor background for my project so that means that I'm going to be working only in crayon because it resists water in our water resistance. We know this from previous art lessons. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start close to the top of my paper and I'm going to draw a rounded square. And when I say rounded square, I mean all my edges are going to be nice and curved. They're not going to be super sharp or super pointy. Next, I want to draw my neck, which is two short lines. And I'm going to draw a straight line across the same distance as my head. So I'm not going past my head lines, just staying right there. Then I'm going to draw two slanted lines going down and a straight line going across connecting them. I also want to draw a rectangle that's connected to that last line. This is the part where it kind of gets tricky where I can use a ruler to make my lines a little bit straighter and erase the lines that I don't want to keep. For my Lego person's legs, they're actually going to be two rectangles, so I'm going to go and create a straight edge from the outside edge of that rectangle, and then another line that's going to actually pass through my top rectangle all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So your top rectangle should have three pieces in it. I'm also going to draw the bottom of my feet for my rectangle. Next for the arms, it gets a little complicated. We're going to start off with a curved slanted line going down almost like a slide. And then we're going to draw a straight line going down from that ending point and a curved line going towards our body. So a slanted line like a slide, a straight line going down, and then a curved line going into our body. So Legos have these funny little hands. So we're going to start with two short lines like the edge of a rectangle, and then I'm going to make a half circle like a rainbow because they have these half circle rainbow type of hands. So I'm going to draw another half circle rainbow on the inside so it kind of looks like a C, like a block C. Now comes the fun part is where you start to add your own flair into it. So we all know Miss Ravellis has curly curly hair so I'm going to draw this wavy curly hair and so when we think about Lego pieces all of the pieces are very plastic they're all put together very nicely. You can take apart some of your Lego pieces but they're all usually one section so I'm trying to make it look as cartoon-like as possible. I'm going to frame my face a little bit better by adding my hair passing through my face and erasing the edges of my head. You can also choose to do this for my girls. For my boys, if you want to give yourself a hairline, you can. Spiky hair or a comb over, whatever type of hairstyle you have, you can totally add to your drawing. Now I'm just going to go back in with some details for my curly hair. And you can also do this if you want to add strands for the hair to show little pieces of hair. You can draw lines that follow the same direction as your hair.
Now for my Lego person's eyes, I'm going to take a nickel because it's a perfect size circle. You can choose anything that's this size of a circle to trace. We need two perfect circles for our Lego eyes. So I'm going to draw one and then I'm going to trace the other. Once I have my two eyes in place, I'm going to draw a smile. And I still want to make it a little bit thicker than that tiny little line, so I'm just going to draw a smile inside as well. Now I can decorate my Lego person, and I'm going to draw one of my favorite shirts that I have on my Lego person. So you can be as creative as you want with the decorations on your shirt. And if you want to even add decorations on your pants, that's totally up to you. Now for my pants, I'm going to add some pockets because I'm going to be wearing jeans in my Lego person's outfit. I'm also going to draw the two lines at the bottom for my shoes. Now it's time to trace our masterpiece with a Sharpie. So trace all of those lines. After you've traced all your lines, you want to take an eraser and erase any pencil lines that were left over. Before you color your project, you want to make sure you fill in your face, your eyes, and your mouth with black Sharpie or black marker so that it looks more like your Lego person. Now it's time to color. So I'm choosing two different types of blue for my jeans and I'm going to do a cool value effect on my jeans. So we practiced this with our vegetable study last week. So the same principle is going to apply. We're going to place the lightest color in the middle first. So I'm going to do this for both sides of my legs. Then I'm going to take my dark blue and start to color in the sides of my legs. And I'm starting to overlap the color on top of my light blue. Then I'm going to take my light blue and go over it again one more time to blend out the sections a little bit better. I can continue to make the pants darker on the sides if I want to add some more dimension. It's totally up to you but it just kind of gives your pants and your drawing some better depth. And you can do this for all the sections of your pants, which is what I did. I'm going to even take this principle of light and dark and I'm going to apply it to my hair. So I'm outlining my hair super dark in this brown and then I'm just coloring it in very lightly and adding some extra lines to add some details where my curly cues are. Now since my hair next to my neck is in the back, I'm going to make it super dark so it looks like it's hidden in the shadows. Now just like what I did for my pants, I'm going to do that for my shirt. So I started off with my darkest color first and then I added my yellow and I'm going back in with my yellow orange just to blend out those colors. And I'll just finish it off by decorating the rest of my shirt. So for my Lego person, I'm actually going to make them yellow just like Lego people are. And I'm going to take my 
yellow orange and color in the outside sections of my yellow piece just to give it a little bit more dimension and some shadows. So I'm just going over the outline sections, the outside sections. Now that I've finished all of my coloring, I'm going to start on my background. So since I told you I was going to watercolor earlier, I'm going to make a sharpie design in the background with some swirls and some dots. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush and start to color my background. I'm going to be using a green and a blue because they're colors that I believe will really make my project stand out. So I'm blending the two together just like I practiced on my Lego person. And so I'm going to be doing that on my background. So I hope you enjoyed this project and had lots of fun being creative. And we used that lovely shading between light and dark to create these beautiful sections. I can't wait to see all your interesting drawings. Have a beautiful rest of your day and a wonderful week and happy creating.